Okay, so the first thing we must do is name these things, right? So I want to name I want to name this mm -hmm. so I can easily get it. So I'm just going to say uh, choice list. That's what I'll, I'll, I'll give it one more class of choice list. And then there's a list item here. So these are children down here. So I can just add uh, one more right there. Now we can always add some script tags down here to begin our JavaScripting. So you don't really need um, to know JavaScript at this point, but uh, any knowledge in JavaScript will be good. So I'll make it simple. We're not going to use the new features where we say add, uh, add new or add element, and then we use list item, and then we say add classes, blah, blah. That process is quite long, but it's it's much better. It, it works better. It's, it keeps, uh, it's keeping with the new standards, but we're just going to use the old fashioned way where we just say inner HTML, then we say plus equals. So, that's what we will do. So here we want to just grab this item and then put a function down here so that this code doesn't run immediately. We load the page. That's why we're putting it inside a function. So this function will, we'll call it add a choice, maybe like this. And then let's do that. So the first thing we're going to do is say var uh, container. Let's see choices maybe let's call it choices that's the container there is equal to document dot query selector this is how we select items from the document so query selector and then since we have to tell it the class name now since it's a class we'll use a dot in there and then we'll say choice what was that name again choice list yes like a this uh -huh. And then all I have to say is choices dot add. Oh, sorry, choices dot inner HTML is I'm just going to say plus equals so that it adds to it. And then I will paste my HTML. Now, when JavaScript, it doesn't allow to type uh, over se uh, several lines unless you use these back ticks. So just use those back ticks and not the single quotes. The back tick is just right above your tab key uh, below the escape key, usually on your keyboard. So let's paste that. So I'm just pasting what's in there and let's see if this will work. So we'll call this function when somebody clicks on that button. So this is the button right here. We'll just put an on click list now. We'll say on click is equal to add choice that's it so refresh and let's add a choice so you see now we've added one more here and it's working as you can see add another choice there we go we have more choices and we can put more content here the only problem is we are repeating the b and probably if you check, you see that all of these have the same name. So let's see how we can cycle through this. Now, an easy way to do this is to, uh, let's create an array here. Oops, sorry. Let's create an array. So I'm just going to say var, or I'll call it const. Uh, no, actually const will be difficult. Let's say let. Oh, let's use the old fashioned way var. So var letters, we're going to call this one letters is equal to um, like this. So this is an empty array, but let me add some content here. I'm going to add a, as you would expect, b, um, c, d. Usually the these choices don't go beyond the f, but who knows, some teachers are strange. They may go to H, um, 
let's just be sure i and then finally j i think that's far enough if you have more than this then uh something is wrong with you okay so now we have a length of this now we have to make sure that we don't go beyond this but let's do something here so what i want us to do is to check how many children choices has so the current number is going to be uh, so i'm just going to say bar uh, this one is looking at i don't know what i'm going to call this one uh items let's just call it items this one will count the number of items in here so currently there are two so there are two children here so which means i'm going to when i add one they're going to i need to add number three but the problem is arrays start from zero so if there are two of these the number i actually need is c which is on the third but this is zero one two so it means this two actually i don't need to do any math so whatever the number is that's what we need to add here so yeah actually i don't even need to do this now in order to put a variable here if you if let's say you're using the backticks like i am here let me move this inward if you're using the backticks like this all you have to do to make this a variable is to put the dollar sign like this okay so now this is supposed a to be a variable so now what i want is to get the number of children that choices has so here i'm going to say ch choices dot children dot dot length uh -huh. so this is the number of children it has so at the moment it has two so this one will be equal to two then i will use the two to say zero one two here so I'll get letters two which will retrieve this uh, uh, value right there so here i'm going to say letters then put those brackets like this and then extract whatever number that is that will give me the correct letter well i hope it does so let's refresh and let's give it a shot so boom you see now it shows c boom d e f g h now let's get let's let's try to break it it's j and then let's click boom boom so let's see what happens now we get undefined undefined that's not cool at all so what we can do though is just to check the number here so what is our limit hmm. We don't want to limit this to a specific number so that in case we want to increase this all we have to do here is add j k l m and just keep going so what i'll do is i'll tell it to just return if the number of choices here is greater than the count here so if for example we ended at c this one the length is three zero one two so the length is three if let's see you know let's just say if the children is um, less than this one right dot length as well uh -huh. if it's less than then we are good to go it means we still have a letter there somewhere so let's try this and see if it works where is this uh, move this okay cool let's test this out in order to avoid suffering i'm just going to remove all these i'll cut them so i can keep them in memory that way we don't have to click too much okay so clearly we are ending at c which is cool and if we check the console we have no errors that is good so if i undo i'm sure it's going to work 
and um, right here we have choice one right now we are repeating this number right here and we shouldn't be so let's add another dollar sign here so this one will be counting the number of uh, children plus one so uh, if there are two items since this is starting from actually maybe we can start it from zero there's nothing wrong with that so let me just get actually the length here is already the number so that's actually cool so this one will be uh, let's count the number here so this one is choice one this one should be choice two, and the other one should be choice three so let's refresh so the reason uh, the reason is that we need different names otherwise we'll lose this information from here so refresh and then let's say add choice so let's inspect this baby right here so here we have choice two on three however this one is choice two as well so let's add one more and see if it's incrementing at all let's see what d has inspect and it's choice three so it is working except uh, the number isn't what we expected. So instead, let's start with zero and then let's go to one. That way things will work as planned. So there we go. Now here, if I add a choice, this should be zero, one, two. So this one should be two, then it means it's working. So that's choice two. This is choice one and choice zero. Let's click one more. And let's see what that number is. Number three. Very cool. So one, zero, one, two, three. Okay, great. So things is working good. Now in the next video, let's see how we can submit this data and uh, process it for our database. Since in our database, um, we only have one column for putting choices, regardless of the number of choices. So we have to convert this data into JSON, of course. All right, I'll see you in the next video.